right, so I'm going to show you how to multiply polynomials today, and um, the main idea for this one is the area model. I want you to f start thinking about um, how we used to find the area of a rectangle, because that's basically what we're doing, length times the width, right? We're using that model to help you multiply. <clears throat> so recall this very easy example. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure everyone knows how to do this. In the past, pretend you have 35 times that by 12, okay? We used to do it like this. So we take the 2 times the 5. So this is going to be a 10, so 0 carries the 1. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1, that's a 70. Of course, we fill it in with a 0 right here and move up to the next column, which is the 10th place. So it's 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 3 is 3. We add them down, so we have 12 right here. Here's the 1, so that's going to be a 420. So that's what we used to do before. Now, using the same technique, we can certainly do an expansion of 35, write it in an extended form. We can write it as 30 plus 5. 12 can be written as 10 plus 2. Notice the technique. So instead of having just one term, now I have two. We can technically call this a poly, right? Polynomial. So how does this work? This is, has this has two terms. This has two terms. So I can create a box, of a two by two box. So two terms on top, two terms on the bottom, so I can choose whichever, whichever number I want. I can write 30 plus 5 right there, and then 10 plus 2. So technically it's the same. Notice that we have a whole rectangle divided into four um, parts. I can find the area of each part by taking the length times the width. So here you go. 30 times 10 is 300. This is 5, and this part is also 10, as you can see. So that's 5 times 10, which is 50. 30 times 2. You see right here, this is this length is this width is 2, and this length is 30. So 30 times 2, that's 60. 5 times 2, that's 10. And if I add all these up, 30, I mean 300 plus 60 plus 50 plus 10, you will end up getting 420 as well. And this is the technique that I want you to talk about um, learn today. We call this the area model. Okay, so let's take a look at the real example I have for you here. <clears throat> Pretend I have y minus 2 times it by y plus 8. I know in the past, you know, some of you might have learned about FOIL, first, inner, outer, last method, which is fine. You can use, certainly use that method. But I truly want you to get this done right 100% of the time by using this area model. It's, it's very organized, so let's take a look what happened here. This is a polynomial times it by a poly. Why is it a poly? Because we have more than one term. So this is a... There's two terms, two terms. I'm going to create a box here, a rectangular box, cut into four pieces, and I get to pick which polynomial I want to put on the top and on the side. So let's say I put y minus 2 on top. So notice that, remember, sign stays with the term. And this is y plus 8. So let's find the area of this box. It's y times y, so that's y squared. This box down here is y times 8, so that's going to give you 8y. This area right here is negative 2 times y, which is negative 2y. This area for the last box is negative 2 times h, so that's negative 16. Now, when you look at this right here, diagonally, you already have them um, line up as light terms, diagonally. So I can just go into my light terms. Here's the y square, 8y plus negative 2y. That's going to give you 6y. And then, of course, the constant is negative 16, and there you have it. Your, um, you know, when you multiply it in simplified form anyway. And if for those of you who think about doing it using FOIL method, it's first um, outer, inner, last. It's up to you, but you will, you know, I, I find this to be very confusing for a lot of you. So, you know, it's up to you. If you think you like this method better, you can certainly do it the same way. Y times 8, 8Y. Negative 2 times Y is negative 2Y. Negative 2 times 8 is negative 16. You will have the same answer, okay? Take a look at another one. Wait, actually, before you do that, I want you to try number 38 on page 402. Okay? All right. Take a look at this next one right here. It's a bit more complicated because I have more than just two terms, two by two. So this is where the box method works best. Okay? 3x minus 5 times this by 2x squared plus 7x minus 8. So as you can see, I have two terms right here, 3x, negative 5, two terms. 
I have 2x squared, I have positive 7x, I have negative 8, so that's three terms. So I need to create a 2 by 3, right? So I'm going to draw my rectangle, three columns, two rows. So two row, three columns, and then the two rows I'm going to have 3x here, negative 5 right there. On the side I have 3, so it's going to give you 2x squared plus 7x minus 8. Notice I separate each term and then write, write it um, on the side correctly. And then I find the area of each box. 3x times 2x squared, that's 6x to the third. This box right here is 3x times 7x, so that's 21x squared. This is 3x times negative 8, that's negative 24x. Down here now is 2x squared times negative 5, that's negative 10x squared. This is 7x times negative 5, that's negative 35x. And this is negative 8 times negative 5, which is positive 40. Okay, and once again, if you look diagonally, you already have like terms. And you can just go ahead and start combining them. 6x to the third, negative 10x squared, um, plus 21x squared is going to give you positive 11x squared. Negative 35x minus 24 is going to give you negative um, uh, 59x. And this one's going to give you 40. Okay, so there you have it. Pretty simple, as you can see. And... Uh, you can certainly get it done. And I want you to go ahead and try number, let's see, ooh, I kind of messed up. Go ahead, number 14, page 401. And last one. It's going to be the uh, area problem. I have here a rectangle. This is the length, 2x squared plus 3x minus 7, and the width I have 3x minus 5. I want you to find the area of this, and as we know, the area of a rectangle is length times width. So if you take that length times the width, we know that we can certainly uh, set up our rectangle we have three terms and two terms here, so it's going to be, be a 3 by 2. So here's a 3x, here's a negative 5, here's the 2x squared, here's a positive 3x, here's a negative 7. I want you to go ahead and fill this out. I'll check in on you when you come back the next day. Once you're done with this, I'd like you to also try number 30 as well on page um, 401.